Hello, in this video, uh, we will learn how to create a finance dashboard, like shown on this page. Um, this is a pretty fancy dashboard. Uh, actually, it has the data source coming from the HANA view and created by the Design Studio. All right, so as you can see here, we have um, a tile and also a scorecard with a, with a bullet chart. And also we have uh, the heat map. Okay, uh, we're going to explore this a little bit more and later, but uh, this is just to give you a quick overview of how this works. Okay, you can choose the mouse. You can see the icon will be uh, changed, um, depends on which, which mouse you select. And also here, um, you can see uh, the heat map with different colors for different country. And if you choose certain country, and then you drill down to the uh, city level, okay? And if you click the city, it go back to the country level. And another fancy thing is you can dynamically change the, the chart. And uh, um, so you can choose uh, any chart you want. And uh, also um, you can still go back or drill down to the uh, city level. See, I choose China. Now it's like three cities from China. If you click the, the chart again, it goes back to the, the country. Okay, if I click like, um, I see um, in Germany, you have the two cities from Germany. Okay, and uh, the same thing here. You can see uh, if I choose different amounts, you're gonna see the, the icon will be changed. And this is a US level the spent versus budget. If you spend more uh, more money than your budget, the icon will be uh, red. And uh, if your spent is under or within your budget, the icon is green. So if I choose different amounts, you will be noticed, this will be changed, okay? See, this is uh, red. And also here, this is uh, a simple KPI tile. It's just the number, the title, and the icon to show the chain. Okay. The same thing here. We just use a scorecard, and you choose the uh, the country, and then you see uh, you show all the city with the spent, either is going up or going down, and this is uh, the bullet chart. Okay. So if I choose different amounts, bullet chart should be changed. So for Vancouver, the spend is under or within the. Uh, the budget, so the bullet chart should burn. Okay, I choose another mouse. See, and in February 2015, in both Calgary and Toronto shows the uh, green uh, bullet chart, which means they're spent uh, with the control of the budget. Okay, now let's see how we can create this uh, financial dashboard in the Design Studio with the data coming from Hanabi. All right. So first, let's take a look at the uh, the uh, uh, DSO system. It's actually the HANA. Um, currently, I have the HANA 2.0 installed. Um, the, um, we have also used the SDI or data service um, to import certain data. <clears throat> so here, the version is 2.0 and uh, if we expand for the level um, content, so here I built a very simple calculation view. Um, this view does nothing but just uh, simply pull some data from the, the source table. Okay, you can simply click the view data and here create a, a variable, and the variable is optional, you can ignore it. You're gonna pull all data, okay? So this is uh, the raw data, which is we'll be using our finance dashboard, all right? So, um, yeah, one more thing that, um, so I have the uh, the Linux installed because this Linux is um, the uh, operational system for the HANA, okay? So currently, it consumes like nine gigabytes memory, and which is good for us. Um, okay, now, now um, let's go to the 
information design tool. So because we need to create a connection in information design tool uh, so that our design studio can use that connection to consume or to read the view we define in HANA. All right. So I believe I have created something like this already. And we just call it HANA OLAP. So if we click edit, there's nothing but the HANA host system instance number and the user and password, right? So we don't have to uh, specify a cube in the connection because we want to use this connection as a generic connection. Then we click uh, finish. If we click test connection, so you see the test, the test is successful, right? I'll just close this. We choose no. Okay. Now finally, we will go to the Design Studio dashboard. So this is the Design Studio dashboard we um, we created, and uh, as you can see, it uses some of the SDK components, so which you can very easily install from the uh, from the SDN. You download that uh, a component, as I think I downloaded here. It's a stable package. Of course, you can enhance it according to your requirements, but here I just use it directly and made a few changes. And uh, we just use the, the KPI tile, the KPI view and the scorecard, and also the infer, infer chart. The infer chart is not part of the SDK uh, component, but it's a standard one, okay? And uh, here, I'm gonna show you um, we, um, sorry, um, system a little bit slow, but here I just want to show you the data source we used. If you see, this is the, um, data source we create from the HANA view. Now you see all the manners, sorry, all the dimensions on the left and the manners are here. And according to your requirement, you can drag and drop and you can even put the filter. So there's no big difference between the HANA view or best query, okay? So, and here we just draw, drag and drop a few components we just talked about before. And uh, most important thing is how you're gonna do the scripts and do some interactions. So for example, there's a certain um, configuration for the scorecard and also for the um, KPI tile. And if we go to the startup, I think I made a few scripts and also I use some few um, global scripts or variables because that's going to help us to um, facilitate the interaction. Okay. So there's nothing but just to uh, fill the drop down list and um, provide data for the GPL type. Okay. So Okay, um, now let's, let's go to the, let's go to this one. Okay. Oh, for the heat map. So I also have put some code here. And uh, the info chart is nothing but you just need to assign data source, but you just need a few uh, scripts to do the drill down. Okay, that means if you choose the country, if you click the one the country, and then the city of the country will be displayed. All right. So those are key, uh, some key um, points in this dashboard. And after this, you can just simply click wrong. You're gonna get pretty much the same um, the same page we saw at the beginning of this video. Okay, so here you can just choose different amounts. You're gonna say the spend versus budget. Okay, if your spend is under control or not. I'm gonna show you either green or red or even yellow or gray, if it stays the same. Okay, and if we go to this hit map, same thing as we talked before, and we can choose different amounts, you can see the different color, okay? So, 
Yeah, this is a city level. If you click the city, it go back to country level. Okay, and here you can choose the pie chart. Same thing. If I choose a country, um, now it's go to this city level. Okay, click again, go back to the country level. Okay, so this is um, just a very brief introduction um, to how you use Design Studio 1.6 to create some uh, fancy and a nice little dashboard. Okay, thanks for watching.